we got an LTL load here. For those of y'all don't know what that is, that's a, that's a light truck load. So I had a two stop. Up there in the front, I got a couple, I don't know, maybe four, six pallets of paper tiles, I think it is. And then I got uh, Echo Power Blend Oil for two cycle engines. Got some bar chain oil right there. It's going to the Home Depot. It's springtime. And that's how you got to do it. It's a hazmat load, so that's how you got to do it. You got to strap it in because uh, DOT will, uh, they will break the seals on these trailers. And look, believe me, it's happened to me a couple times. So, but we're heading on down to Home Depot. We're going to drop this load today. This load paid pretty good. 1,050 miles. And being as hazmat, I get a little extra. So it was definitely, it's definitely been a good load. Good morning from PA. I'm at a TA truck stop off of I-80 in Mill Hall, PA. Look at the mountains back there. I wouldn't mind walking down there, but I really ain't got time right now. Oh man, look at all them bottles down there. I don't know where that came from. But it was a peaceful night, man. I slept really good. I uh, got here last night and uh, cleaned out my trailer because I'm going to a customer that uh, I don't know what their requirements are. So I went in and swept out the trailer. We made it to the Home Depot yesterday. Uh, way ahead of schedule <clears throat> the only sucky part was is one of the places I got to and they was like oh we're full we got to send you to an off-site lot and I was like oh my brother I had to go uh, looking for the place I missed the turn a couple of times then I seen a sign 10 ton bridge limit and uh, I had to turn around in somebody's parking lot the gate was open, I pulled through, and uh, all of a sudden I, I got spun around, the gate started closing, I said, oh man. And then when I got up to the gate, they went ahead and opened it. I don't know what, I don't know what was going on. But uh, anyway, we dropped it, and now we're, uh, we're about 10 miles from our next pickup. Got here last night, swept the trailer out. Um, post trip the truck real good went in there took me a long hot shower I, I like the TAs myself <clears throat> unfortunately my company doesn't let us uh, they don't let us fuel up at them for whatever reason I, I don't know but I can tell you what that uh, they are they are good places but this truck stop was pretty uh, pretty quiet last night it wasn't a lot of trucks here of course it's it's Sunday not a lot of people out. I seen the chaplain or somebody walking around. They got a they got a little mini chapel here. See right there. He was cool. I, I had my curtains down. He didn't uh, come knocking on the curtains or nothing. But of course, I was about ready to go. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty good night, man. Uh, I fell asleep again. Fell asleep again watching the TV. And uh, I slept eight plus hours. Felt really good. <coughs> Woke up cold again. 23 degrees this morning. 
<laughs> it's about 30 now. I don't think the high is going to get above 40 today, but we'll be getting on down the road. We're headed down to West Virginia to a Sam's Club store, uh, not a DC. Oh, we're waking up in West Virginia this morning, Charleston. Got a little snow last night. It wasn't a lot, but I knew it was gonna snow. But well, we made our uh, we made our delivery on time, Sam's Club. But the, the, guy, the guy wouldn't unload. The guy wouldn't unload until later, until much later. Uh, so I got there about eight o'clock last night, and then. Uh, I didn't get done and get unloaded till after three in the morning. The guy who had to wake me up twice. But anyway, we're gonna we're, we're taking the day off. We're gonna go over here and get a haircut at Sport Clips, and uh, possibly go check out a movie a little bit later. But yeah, it's about 35 degrees right now. It's supposed to get up to I think 48 today. We'll see. Right off in Chi-Town. Had to back into one of them buildings. Block the street traffic. <clears throat> and everything. Yes, sir. How did you get in here? Go all the way down to the last trailer. Go all the way to the last trailer right here. You talking about backing in? Yeah. That's what we got to deal with out here in Chi-Town. We got a veteran right here. He's been driving 28 years. Of course, he's got a day cab. Uh oh, he's throwing it in there quick, too. God, no. Oh. Say, so you got to take up the traffic right here. Say, so you got to pull across. He got to break in traffic. Yeah, veteran. Yeah, he got that good. Blocking up all the traffic. Yeah, these cars don't care neither. They don't care, they always in a hurry. It's no time. It's a busy road right here when you're trying to back in. So you gotta hit that corner right there. 